real talk. I mean, people will see that we're zero and whatever against SEC teams in bowl games, and that's that's just the truth. But we kind of got to take that upon ourselves and look at ourselves in the mirror and say, at some point, we got to step up and be an SEC team. They're a great conference. The Big Ten's a great conference. So it's just two great conferences. And when they play, the better team comes out on top. You can see on our schedule, we have some great teams all across the board, starting with Youngstown State and we end up Michigan. And every team in there can come out and play, and any team can play with an SEC team. And that's, I don't think that statement's correct because the Big Ten's a power conference, but I mean, as you can tell, with the, some of the teams are going to the spread and they got the speed. So I, I kind of disagree with that. You know, I, I recognize that maybe a week before camp, all up, all up until the summer, I, I was it was sore, it was hurting me. But a week before camp, it just clicked and everything felt good. So I'm 100% I'm now. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Tigers are doing a real good job, you know, Doug, Todd, Nick, and Dixon are doing a real good job. Uh, Cam's doing a great job, and who's really stepping up the staff, that is doing a wonderful job, you know, coming off the edge, playing the life position, and that's going to be a big force for us this year, he's doing a real good job. I, I have to say, the inside guys as a unit, you know, our Tigers are, are doing a tremendous job pressuring the quarterback, and uh, Thaddeus Gibson is doing a real good job, you know, rushing the edge, and he's going to be a big force for us. Yeah, it, they're, they're playing. They're playing hard. You know, Gary Go was playing hard. You know, Nate's playing hard, and uh, they, they have to pick up on the, on the defense. So it's still early for them. So they, you know, they're really tend to asking a lot of questions and everything, and they're getting in early in meetings and asking a lot of questions, going through their playbooks. So the young guys, they, they really want to get better. And you can see it in their eyes. They ask a lot of questions. And they're doing a good job. Brian Brian doing a real good job, you know. You can see you can see his improvements through the spring and through now. And Brian's gonna be a big force for the O line, you know. That, that was the only missing link pretty much because Kurt Barton left. But uh, Brian Beebe is really stepping up and he's really doing a good job on the O line, holding on off the edge. I uh, lost to 10 to 15 pounds, you know, in the past month or two. You know, by just changing the way I'm eating, drinking a lot more water, so I feel a lot lighter. I'm, I'm strong. I'm stronger than this year, but I've lost weight, so that's always a plus. I'm, I'm stronger than I was, but I'm lighter, so I can play longer. You know, I can run faster, I'm quicker. I just feel a lot better than I did until the last year. Lawrence has been doing real good. He, he bounced back from Andrew very well. You know, he's very quick off the ball, and he's, he's helping us a lot, actually, on the, on, at the end spot. And, um, you know, we're rooting for him because, you know, he went through a um, hard, hard, um, hard injury. But he bounced back great, and you can't even tell he, he was even hurt. Um, Garrett Goble, you know, he, he's coming off real low. He's um, he's playing real hard. He's, he's fighting double teams. He's doing very well for a freshman. Um, Nathan Williams is a very strong kid, very, very strong, fast guy. Coming off the edge, you know, he, he's doing very well as a freshman. Also, we have um, we have uh, we have uh, Willie Mobley. You know, he has a little shoulder injury right now. He's trying to rehab, trying to get that back to normal. He should be pretty good. And also, we have Keith Wells. He, he's very quick off the ball, and you know, he's he come off the edge, firing. He's gonna be very good player for us.